Hello, I'm Maximilian Casayus from University of Paris, and I present you our work on elastic properties in the multiple bismuthal R by Pedro Metal. We work in collaboration with Laurent Belliard from Sorbonne University, Philippe Gemia for the simulation from University of Paris, -Nord, and Dorothy Colson from Sierra Saclay for the sample. This work has been published uh, this year in Applied Physics Later. As you know, multifluid matter are several uh, spheric order, which in many cases uh, interact. There are many studies on magnetoelectric effect, but few works on magnetostriction. However, one know the important effect of stresses on magnetic and uh, ferroelectric processes in synthesis. For example, uh, in order to control the effect of stresses in a multifluid materials, it's uh, necessary uh, to know uh, its elastic properties uh, through the elastic constant. We realize that apart from a few numerical words, the experimental words were counted on the finger on one hand. So in this study, we have worked on single crystal of one of the most known multifluoric bismuth chloride. The single crystal are synthesized by a fixed method, as Sia Saclay by Dorothy Colson. Bismuth chloride is ferroelectric below 1100 K, uh, with a huge polarization of uh, 100 micron coulomb per centimeter square along the 111 direction of the pseudo-cubic structure. It presents also a high resistivity. BFO is also antiferromagnetic below 640K, and due to the Jaworsinski moria interaction, the spin form the cycloid in the minus one to minus one. To determine the elastic constant of BFO, we have used a time result acoustic technique, which has been developed in the 80s. This technique has really taken off with the development of a high performance pulse laser sources. And the acoustical pump and prop technique is an optical method that generates short acoustic pulses. Uh, which, can be which can be detected by a uh, time delay probe. And due to the large frequency bandwidth of the acoustic pulse, it is thus possible to study materials at a sub micrometer scale. This time result measurements allow to measure some velocity with an accuracy typically better than 5%, and thus to determine the related uh, elastic property. So acoustic measurements were performed using a standard stabilized Michelson interferometer sensitive to the perpendicular surface displacement. A 12 nanosecond maximum perpendicular time delay is achieved using a mobile reflector mounted on a translation stage. Both the pump and probe beams are focused with a microscope objective with a numeral aperture of 0.9 fixed on a piezoelectric stage. So this figure shows the propagation of the acoustic wave on the bismuth surface. surface. Uh, the signal is recorded uh, by scanning the surface of the sample at fixed pamper probe delay. It corresponds to a snapshot taken at 3.6 nanosecond from the coincidence. The white area in the center of the image is a huge stationary uh, phototermal component, and the contrast in intensity corresponds to maxima and minima interamplitude of the waveform. So we have performed scanline along three independent uh, directions to obtain the profile of the acoustic wave at different time of probe areal well, uh, after the coincidence. The next figure presents the relative phase change of the electromagnetic field of the probe along the scan direction one as a function of the probe position and for several probe time delay. 
One can observe in this figure three peaks whose positions evolve as a function of the probe delay. These peaks correspond to uh, wave amplitude maxima and three distinct propagation speeds. Thanks to uh, BA4 symmetry, only seven independent elastic constants have to be determined. And to do that, we are calculating the first set of elastic constants using BFT calculation. This step of constant is then used in a mathematical equation of acoustic mode, modes. We can thus determine with the Christopher equations four theoretical velocities the longitudinal mode, the fastest transverse mode, the slowest transverse mode, and the rail surface mode. The values of the elastic constant are optimized by uh, minimizing the difference uh, between the exponential and theoretical velocities. Finally, we have determined all the constant of uh, BA4. So here you can uh, see the final set of the obtained uh, value. So now I present the calculate an experimental velocity associated with the three bulk waves and the surface wave as a function of the phi angle. This black line corresponds to the calculate longitudinal velocity and the square represents the experimental point. The vertical lines are associated to the three direction of measurement. So here, uh, the comparison uh, for the fastest transverse mode. Now the experimental and calculated velocity for the slowest transverse mode. One velocity along direction two is below from the calculated bulk shear velocities. Uh, and to find an explanation for this uh, apparent discrepancy, we have calculated with the homemade program the generalized Rayleigh surface wave for semi infinite anisotropic elastic medium. And one can see the good agreement between the experimental velocity and the calculate uh, surface acoustic mode. Even if this uh, comparison is only based on uh, this unique analyzed experimental. And finally, uh, we have uh, front curves within a surface gate in the plane that can be compared uh, to the time resolved images. Here's the longitudinal acoustic corner in uh, black is too fast and is no longer uh, present uh, in the image, while the other uh, slower waves uh, are reported. In the polar uh, representation, we can clearly see a flower shape reproducing the experimental pattern with four petals in the vicinity of the same direction. So there is a nice agreement uh, in, between the experimental results and uh, our calculation. To conclude, we have implemented acoustic uh, pump and probe experiment at a certain time scale on bismuthorizing a crystal. We have measured the sound velocity of longitudinal, transverse, uh, surface acoustic mode traveling along uh, different uh, direction. And combining uh, GFT calculation and the Christopher equation, a set of elastic constant uh, give access to a theoretical uh, velocity. The minimization of the difference between uh, the experimental and theoretical uh, velocity allow us to optimize uh, and determine all uh, the uh, seven independent elastic constant of peak. So thanks to our analytical and numerical resolution of the acoustic eigenvalue program, it is uh, thus possible to track and ambiguously each wave by identifying simultaneously the sound velocity, that means the uh, eigenvalues, and then different polarizations to the uh, eigenvector. So thank you for your uh, attention.